All right, I've been cooped up in the house, working from home for a week now, and uh, definitely need to get in my practice time. Vegas is closed, Reno is closed. Oh, what is a Bay Area craps player supposed to do? All right, more practice. Had a great practice session last night. Hit my highest ever, uh, it was 57 rolls with only one seven on a come out roll at about like 40 rolls in. So I was happy, but more practice always. Practice, practice, practice. Gotta be consistent. So let's try this. All right, just wanna do a little quick practice set. Walking up to the table, mark with the blue chips. Do a hard way set. Get some practice in, just focus on the shooting. Grip. Visualize. We got a 3-1-4. Also trying a different position to where I grab my grip. There you go, aces. Usually I grab my dice from the side. So I have this angle here, it just kind of fits in my grip. And I know what I need to do as far as twisting the angle of the wrist, but got some other tips recently, picking them up straight on, still getting that thumb dead center. There we go. Three, two, five, or two, three, five, two, three, five. That was a little bit more of a lob. Get that 45 degree roughly angle. Right. Got a hard four, and that's the point. And so what I'm gonna do for tracking all my practices, when I get hard ways, I'll just put it like right on the line for the first one. So in my head, if I was betting my hard ways, it would indicate that my last four that was hit is a, is a hard way. And then if I hit it again, I know that if I p did my parlay system, that you know I hit it once, then I let it parlay, and then I'll take the second win. So that kind of just lets me track what my, if my last number was a hard way or not. All right, we're going to be coming out. Seven on a come out. It's a winner. In some cases, that might be a loser if you're working your numbers. All right, coming out. Another come out front line winner. At least I'm consistent. That's what I'm more focused on in the practicing. That from shot to shot, I stay consistent versus trying to pick out you know, certain sets of numbers. But obviously, I don't want to get into the consistent habit of that seven. There you go. There we go, hard six. And I'm gonna mark that on the line as well. So if my next six pops up and it's a hard way, again, I'll know that that parlayed hit would be a double winner. Usually I'd throw like a $5 uh, chip down there. So like the first one would pay, you know, 45 for that $5 hit, then you let the whole thing ri uh, ride, 
If it hits again, another nine times that. So, all right, here you go. Six winner, but it was an easy six. So first, pull that down. That's off. Scoot that up. It's no longer a hard way. Was the last six, so not any longer. Coming out again. Seven on the come out. Pass line winner. Definitely can tell haven't warmed up yet. But at least it's only on the come out still. That was a little six, a little much into the hook there. But we're back up on that six. Eight, two, six, eight. The nice pairing in the air, at least, of the dice. Not too much of a split. Although the six did, the right die did go off axis and hit that six, but it's okay with the hard way set. Four, six, ten. See, once again, that right die landing on the six. But again, with the hard way set, if one die goes off axis, that's okay. The benefit of the hard way. All right. Six, four, 10. Nothing like repeat numbers. Depending on your casino, that might be a good bet. Or if you're just pressing your bets on the place bets, that's all good too. Oh, right on the wall. And the seven out. That was horrible. Right on the base, the rubber. Did not focus good. That was my bad and I suffered the consequences. All right, so what was that? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, not too bad. A couple come outs, but still would have paid as long as you weren't working. And uh, yeah, 13 rolls, I believe. Okay, let's do this again. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more warmed up and focus on shooting rather than the talking. All right, let's do this again. Still on those practice shots here. Oh, not down the middle. Okay, down the middle on the thumb, straight. Way short. Six, two, four, six. That landing zone was way short. Shooting like a little kid or something. What the heck? Although I guess overcompensating, trying not to hit that back wall on the right out of the air like that last game. All right. Here we go straight. There we go, hard 10, nice. Put that right on the line again. Indicate that it was the last 10 was a hard way. See if that, that one paid seven, if I had my $5 chip down there, so 35. Then let the whole thing ride.
Six, four, ten. Well, that's an easy ten, so I'll scoot that back. I lose my hard way parlay. But my ten would be pressing up. I'm a place bet, so that's all good. That was too short. That was way too short. Alright, that was only four rolls. Actually, if you followed my last power press to the regress strategy, I would have broke even at least because I only hit three numbers after the come out number, but one of them was, you know, the same number. So I repeated the 10 so that would have been after three numbers you pull down you know all the bet go back to your baseline investment so then we would have broke even so that wasn't a total loss all right but let's get into the groove get into the groove all right See if we can get this practice session back in sync. Focus here on the shooting. Not so much thinking about jabbering. All right. Center on that thumb. Grip is good. Nice. Four, three, one, four. Even though that right die ended up with an off axis number. At least the dice stayed together. Two, three, five. Nice even amount of energy. Both die hit the wall or land hit the wall, die about equal. Snake eyes. Still got to work on my unevenness of the die flying. One's always, one's sometimes higher than the other. There it is again, four. But as long as you're not throwing sevens and you can keep throwing that same consistent throw, you can vary your bets, make sure you're covering those numbers and it's still all good. We hit a repeat of that four. Nice. Okay, coming out. Nine, four, five, nine. That one was really close to the landing zone of the, right at the base of the wall. Three, two, five. Nice with these repeat numbers. Because if you're doing place bets, it's very beneficial for those pressing strategies.
five, four, nine, winner. And another repeat number there. Can't argue with that. Even though my right die is still a little higher in the air, I'm not going to complain about those results. All right, we're coming out. Two, one, three craps. And with doing your practice shooting over and over and over, it'll always <clears throat> be beneficial for just even finding your numbers, just you know, getting your eyes and your brain working to be able to just find your set real quick so you're not dicking around with the numbers at the table. Oh, hoppy, hoppy. We got another nine. We're back on that nine. If you were pressing the nine, I'm sure you'd be a happy camper. Four, two, six. And if I want to say that was an all small, we got two, three, four, five, six, which would pay 30 to one, basically, depending on where you're at in the casinos. All small. Nice. Let's keep it going. Nine's the point. Oh, of course, after a big payout, you get a seven out. And that was for practicing, analyzing myself. I think it dropped way short from my landing zone. So the reaction into the wall was not to our benefit. So we got three, six, eight, nine, ten, ten rolls. Couple of those, you know, repeat numbers, so not too bad. And two actual points. So let me clean that up. We'll do this one more time. Or a bunch more times. It's practice time, baby. Let's do this. Okay, so more practice. Let's see if we can get our groove on. Make some money. Alright, focus. Not so much thinking about other stuff, talking, schmoozing with you guys. All right, grip, center that thumb. Hard four, nice. I'm gonna mark this right on the line so I remember that my last number was a hard way. So I can see if my parlay betting on the hard ways would be beneficial at all. All right. Three, two, five. Four, six, ten. <clears throat> Two, three, five. Again, repeat number. Good indicator. Man, something's... Mm -hmm. Hope it's not an outlet. Maybe it's my Christmas lights burning, I don't know. All right, there we go, focus. Ooh, 
Ooh, four, six, ten again. Repeat on that ten. I was getting a little close. That landing zone was a little close to the wall, but I like how they die quick once they hit the wall and drop. Yeah, that was short. Oh, got him one shot off into the hook there. I need them both to keep going straight and sane. Anyway, again, if you were doing my press to regress strategy, um, we would have pulled down after the number. Well, we would have pulled down at three hits since one of them would have been already repeated. But normally, if there are four different place numbers, we would have pulled down at four hits. So we would have at least broken even on that. So that's all good. That's okay. Not great, but okay. All right, let's do this again. Coming out. Uh, crooked thumb. Seven, frontline winner. And if you're a shooter, you know, it's not all about the throw. You got to be consistent on everything from the way your dice are to your grip. The way you pull back on that and the swing and the release. Short. Five, three, eight. I might not be hitting it exactly where I want, <laughs> but I'm consistently hitting the same shortness. So, you know, if I had a coach on, on me right here, I already know in my head what he'd be telling me to do. So I slowly implement those, those yelling remarks that I hear, my virtual scolding. Oh, sloppy. One, four, five. If I was that, that was my tennis coach from back in the day, he would have told me to take a lap on that one. Holy crap. All right. No overcompensating. Let's do this. Focus. Point is eight. We go squared. Yo, 11. Make sure even your stance, your body's got to be consistent every time. Whether you're slouching or not, consistent. How do you expect to be a consistent shooter if you don't do all the pre-steps the same every time? Hard six, put that on the line. Oh, that was sloppy in the air. Still like the end result, but not taking credit for that. Nine, six, three, nine. Man, getting a heck of a bounce though. All right. What are we looking for? We're looking for that eight. We got a one, five, six. Not bad in the landing zone. That was a whole lot of revolutions. A lot of spin on that. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, yo, 11, that was way into the hook. And chances are, if you get one of those drunk players or newbie players at Stickman, you know, two, stick right two, looking or hanging his hands over the edge, that might have might have hit him on the way over. Six, one, five, six. Nice repeat. There, that was beautiful. Hard 10. They stayed in sync, they spun at the same speed, hit their landing zone up into the back wall, drop back down, equally energized, and both die at the same time, still at the same numbers. Nice hard way. All right, looking for an eight. One, five, six. It's okay, those repeat numbers there. Still pays, still place bet pressing. Looking for that eight. Three, two, five. for that eight. Oh, hard 10 again. And the best part, that parlay would have been seven times the previous winnings. So that's beautiful. That's what I like to see. All right. Still looking for that eight. Four, one, five. Definitely nice hitting these repeat numbers though. Can't complain. Eight. There we go. We got a winner. All right. We're coming out. It's looking good. Feeling good. That didn't feel good at all. Reset those. <laughs> that was, do you see that angle? That had, that was like so straight and just like a shot out of a gun, bow. All right, another frontline winner. Still in there. The sucky part is that now I lose. If you're playing the all tall small, we would have to reset here. That's kind of a bummer, but still rolling, still going, still in it. Not passing those dice. There we go. Hard six. I don't recall if we had another six. So I won't take credit for the hard way. But I'll mark it now. So we'll see if another hard way six pops up before an easy six. Point is six. Oh, but the hit is seven. Oh, unfortunate. I was feeling good. I liked it. All right. 
What do we got here? We got 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ugh, almost hit that 20 shot goal. That's always a nice, you know, number to uh, at least make the night memorable for your practice. So that's 17. All right. Definitely we should be up unless I was doing some poor betting strategy. We should have been up after that series. So, you know, I think that will call it for the night. Back to work. Oh, back to my work. Everybody stay safe out there while you're, you know, sheltering it at home. Uh, no group, no group parties here. But until then, until they reopen the casinos, I will see you at the tables. Thank <laughs> you.